309. The problem that I have chosen is number of ways to reach a position after exactly k steps. So here in this question, you are given the starting position, you are given the ending position, and you we have to assume that you are standing at the starting position, and the line has infinite numbers over it. With each step, you can either move one step towards left or you can move one position towards right. You're also given an integer value k. What do you need to do? You need to return the number of different ways to reach the position end position starting from the starting position in exactly k steps. So this is the crux of the problem. Guys, remember, what do we need to do? We need to count the number of different ways to reach the position. And it's not asking us to return whether it's possible to reach the position in k steps or not. So this makes the question a little more interesting than says uh, you are have to reach uh, the destination position. You are given some position or some index as a source one. What do you need to do? You need to count the number of ways in order to reach the destination from the source in exactly k steps. And when I first read the question, I got the intention behind the question that it will be solved using dynamic programming approach. How? Uh, it's not that difficult guys. Uh, the question says you need to reach this destination position in exactly k steps. So if I ask you guys, how, in how many ways can this position be reached? So there are only two places from this from which this position can be reached. One is towards the left, which is this one, and one is towards the right, which is this one. And if I again ask you guys, uh, what is the constraint that should be present over here in order to reach this uh, deep distant destination in k steps? That is these two destinations should be reachable in k minus one steps because if you are at over here then you make a move towards right and you reach uh, this particular destination in total of k steps so k minus one plus one will make it total of k steps similarly over here so if you are at this particular position then again uh, in order to reach the destination you will have to be at this one at k minus one steps. So k minus one plus one will give you k and this is the crux of the problem. If you are able to think this much then your work is done. Rest we will be applying recursion plus memoization in order to conclude the entire algorithm. What I am trying to say you will get to know in some time and trust me guys once I will go through the code it, this question will not seem like a difficult one. In the first go, I have created a DPRA as per the constraint and the limit specified in the equation. So this uh, signifies the platform over which starting index and ending index is specified and this signifies a dimension for k. So if you, if you read the constraints above then you will see that all three the starting, ending and the value of k lies in the range of uh, 0 till 1000, 1000 inclusive and let's start in the first go what have I done I have filled in this entire DPRA with minus one and moving ahead I have written a top-down dynamic programming up kind of an approach um, and it's really simple it in, it involves recursion plus memoization so this index represents the starting index this represents represents the ending index this represents the index where I'm currently at this represents the value of k and this represents my DPRA so let's quickly walk through the code algorithm. So this is a typical way how we write recursion and then we apply memoization over it. So in case the value of k happens to be zero, that means no more steps are allowed. What do I do? I check whether the current index where I'm at, where I am at, is equal to the ending index. If that is the case, that means I have found one possible solution. Otherwise, I return zero because uh, that makes it at a different position and we should abort the process there and then itself. We should be returning zero in those cases. At line number 20, I check whether we have actually calculated the DP value in the past or not for the current configuration. If we have already calculated that value, we simply return it back. So this is a typical way how we write memoization in general. And uh, moving ahead at line number 24, I have made a right move. That means a move towards the right direction. I'm incrementing the current index by plus one. I'm reducing the value of K by one. And the DPR remains the same. The starting index remains the same. The ending index remains the same. At line number 26, what I have I done? I have moved towards left the left direction from the current direction. And when I move towards the left direction, I basically reduce the current pointer by one the k1 also gets reduced by 1 because I am making a move 
and D, DP remains the same, start and end remains the same. And at line number 28, basically we are setting the DP value, which will be equal to right move plus let, left move. And once we have calculated the sum, we allocate it to the DP of current plus uh, current comma K. And uh, we simply return it back for the recursive calls. So let's try this up. Accepted. And guys, this is nothing new that I have talking right now. We have been solving such problems in the past from over two years. And if you are interested in more such questions, then you can go on to coding decoded GitHub repo and you will find all the solutions for the previous uh, monthly challenges that we have solved. Also subscribers of coding decoded regularly submit solutions in C++ and Java onto this repo. This is a contribution that they make and the entire repo right now is maintained by them, not by me. I only review the problems and uh, review their solutions and merge it into master. And I've also created SD division sheet for all the subscribers of coding decoded, wherein I have listed uh, these sheets in, in top under topic wise categories. And also with each sheet, you will find uh, video solutions and all the questions are segregated in terms of difficulty, easy, medium and hard. And those who are important from interviews perspective are marked with double asterisk sign. So this is for the coding decoded tree SD preparation sheet and you should be walking through the one that is of dynamic programming. So this includes the must do. And since dynamic programming is a very vast topic, this includes for the for those who are looking for even more practice and have, have lots of time, uh, especially the college students out there. So I'm attaching its link in the description as well, guys. I hope you thoroughly enjoy these sheets up. Uh, with this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope uh, you, in, you understood the algorithm. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.